Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you what it's like when you first exit the plane after landing in Watulco, the Watulco terminal, and where you pick up your baggage in this video. So when you land here, you will always land on the tarmac, obviously, but you will always exit on the tarmac. There are no gates. There are no bridges. You always walk your way, rain or shine. So it was raining earlier and we were lucky because we didn't get any rain on us. But this is basically the Watuoko Airport. You will always land here, you will always walk down this line, and you will always make a left to go to baggage claim. They frown upon recording, so I had to kind of hide my camera. That's why the angle is kind of weird, so sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that too. But basically you walk down this long line, and you just keep going and going. It's not too far. It's a very beautiful day. It's not really hot. The rain kind of cooled the day off for us. A lot of beautiful palm trees and tiki style roofs on the uh, airport the whole airport is like a tiki style roof and you just keep going and going we're gonna catch up with Cindy up there and right there she's gonna make a right where that little uh, covered walkway is now another thing to consider is they are very fast with the luggage here um, I don't think you have a problem about people taking your stuff, but just be aware by the time you actually walk there Your luggage is probably already on the conveyor Be mostly because they're small flights and also because there's only one flight at a time So the guys are pretty quick with it. All right, so now we're in the roofed area We're about to go into baggage claim Once you get to baggage claim, you're gonna want to get your baggage as quick as you can Because you have to go reserve your taxis now. I'm not gonna say they'll run out of taxis, but there will be a line so if you're not kind of hustling for it, you might end up in a line. Like, we were one of the last ones to get out. Um, right here is baggage claim. There's only two conveyors for baggage claim. So we're going to make a right here. Hi, Cindy. Let me go get the bags. All right, there's one conveyor. We were not on that one. If you make a U-turn right here, you'll get to the next conveyor. But first, I want us to talk about this guy. I paused it here because these are the guys that help you with your checked bags. They will carry them in these carts to your cab or to the shuttle or whoever's taking you out to town. These guys work for tips only. So please try to be nice. Give them a good tip. I'm not trying to tell people how much to give, but don't be giving them a dollar because they could have picked someone else that would have been more generous. And this is all they get is their income. Right now I'm getting here. It's the low season. There's only one guy. So I didn't get to get him. I had to carry all my bags in the high season, which is usually spring break, summer and end of the year, Christmas time when all the snowbirds come. There'll be three or four of these guys making rounds. So try to flag one down when you see one. He'll put your stuff on his cart. He'll take it to your vehicle or transportation and he'll unload it for you. And just be nice and give him a generous tip, whatever you consider. I think a five is okay, um, at least. Anything other than that is probably not worth their time and they could have probably gotten someone else that would have given them something better. They only get to do one or two of these runs per flight when there's uh, three or four of them doing them. So just be nice with our local host and uh, make sure you get one of these guys to help you out if you need it. If not, you'll be like me carrying your own stuff. And right here is where the last conveyor is. So that's both conveyors. Bye.